all over the UK, in schools, colleges, universities and workplaces, Sikhs have been questioned on their faith by Muslims and Christians who wish to convert them. Now there's nothing new about preachers, but the problem is that one, our leaders haven't invested in educating our youth, and two, these missionaries especially target those people who don't know much about Sikhi and might be from broken families. And this is a series of videos that responds to the usual arguments made by these missionaries and preachers. What's our aim? To arm our youth with the knowledge to understand the power of Bani and send these preachers on their way and to leave us alone. What's not our aim? The Sikhs then go up to these preachers and have an argument with them or try to show off about Sikhi. The message is we should be grateful to be a Sikh, not proud. We didn't make it, so we should just say Tan Gunanak, read Bani and learn more about Sikhi. Thank you for watching the CQ show on Sikh channel Sky 840. We are live at Guru Singh Sabha Gurdwara in Southall and we've got a very special show today. Today's show is going to be extremely important because we're going to be addressing the questions that other pe people from other faiths ask Sikhs. So we're going to be talking about when a Muslim, when a Christian, Jehovah's Witness, anyone or Hindu, anyone asks a Sikh a particular question about their faith, what's the Sikh's answer? And with us, I'm so privileged to have with us on our show, uh, Bhai Jagarad Singh Ji of Base of Sikhi. So let's introduce Bhai first. Bhai welcome to the show. Bhai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Bhai Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Uh, what we're going to do Bhai because we're going to start the show straight away, this is going to be an interactive show. So if you're just tuning in, there'll be a text number on your screen. You can ask any question regarding Sikhi. You can tell us any question that someone's asked you or one of your family members or friends uh, or regards to Sikh, the Sikh faith. Any question you have, you can text it live and we'll be passing it straight on to uh, Bhai Jagrad Singh Ji. So as soon as we get the, question, uh, the questions coming through, I'll be asking Bhai Saab for their input. But also on the screen uh, in front of you, we, will, we should have a link for a donation page that we've set up, the CQ show set up today. Bhai Jagrad Singh Ji, right, has been doing seva in regards to Sikhi Prachar for the past couple of years now. And they've done such a fantastic job. We're going to be introducing some of the, some of the Sangat that they've inspired. We're going to be hearing it from themselves, how Bhai Jagrad Singh and the, the, the seva Das of basic Sikhi have inspired them, and the work that they're doing out there on the street, and also on social media. They are getting in touch with people that normal Godwari don't get through to. These guys are talking in a dialogue, uh, conversing in a, in a language that the normal Nojwan of this country understands, and not in this country, worldwide. They're doing such a fantastic job that their YouTube channel at the moment, basically Sikhi YouTube channel, is now in several different languages in Europe. So they're, they're, they are branching out. They are carrying out Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message. My humblest request to every single viewer watching right now, please, guys, think about it. Look how much we spend at Gurdwara Sabs for this, that, the other, for building fund, for this, for that. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, when they started Sikhi, they prachar, they, did, they went to different places and did prachar of Sikhi. They went to different, different houses, different pens, different sheds, different countries across the world. Guru Nanak Dev Ji went spreading the word of Sikhi. This organization, Basic Sikhi, is doing exactly that. They are carrying out Guru Nanak Dev Ji's work. It is up to us to make sure that this project is a success and it grows. These guys at the moment have left their own works and they're doing this full time. So they've, they've set up, what I want to do is I want to get to Pai Jagras and just, just quickly run through exactly how the setup is, is formed. What is it that you guys do and how the Sangha that can help. Because my, um, my humble uh, request was that on that donation page today, Sasangaji, everyone watching, please, we want to be able to raise £13,000 in this one hour. That's up to yourselves, it's your Sisa, it's going to be your Bainti, your Kirpa if we be able to do this. Uh, the rest is up to Maharaj, Maharaj Merkan, whoever Maharaj chooses to, at this moment in time, whoever's watching right now, to give their the swand, to give their honest living and put it towards a cause that we will be spreading Guru Nanak Dev Ji's word. That's where the money is going to be going to. He let me, uh, without any further ado, because I want to answer quite a few uh, texts uh, coming through already in regards to questions. So before we do that, let's get Paji Grassing to just quickly introduce himself and the organization, when you were set up, what you're doing at the moment, and what's your future plans, Paji? Wahe Guruji ka khasa, Wahe Guruji ki fateh. 
Uh, we started Base of Sikhi about two years ago uh, as a basically because we saw the same thing happening across the world. People of our youth, people across the world didn't know the answers to many simple, simple things. And all of the people that knew these simple things seemed to be involved in very high level discussions and arguments. But the average person was sort of left, and especially on YouTube, there was not a presence much on YouTube. So it was like a gap in the market. There was no need for, uh, I felt that there wasn't a need for someone to just get involved in the advance when the basics weren't being covered. So we started that and we started answering both questions from people from other faiths and the simple stuff. Marizi Kirpa, last two years, is about coming up to two years now, we've released about 400 videos. Some very small Q&A playlists, some much longer. Uh, Park Avenue Gurdara um, helped us a lot by giving us this one hour slot. So every Sunday we've been going to Qatar since May last year. Sorry, May year before last. So coming up to full year and a half, more than that, doing Qatar of Jabji Sahib, Jab Sahib, then Topa Sahib, Sveye, and now Jopay Sahib we're going through every Sunday, 6 p.m. The other things that we do is we do street parchar. That was something, you know, the other faiths are well into promoting their faith and raising awareness about their faith. Uh, we do it with leaflets and we're making uh, booklets to hand out to people. The videos are already online. Sikh channel have been very kind. They've given us a half an hour slot, uh, 8.30 to 9 o'clock every Tuesday evening. And they play those videos of Street Prachar quite a lot. So, I guess our mission is very simple. Spread Guru's wisdom, but demystify it as well. A lot of our people are quite confused about what it is that Sikhi is. And we're trying to just demystify it. And uh, that's why it's called The Basics. Um, it's Marzi Kirpa, the Sangat, a lot of the Sangat here come here every Sunday. And, uh, you know, we've been going through Bani. So they don't really come here to listen to anything else. They come here to listen to the explanations of Guru Maharaj's Bani. What did our Guru say? So hopefully today, when we go through these questions, what we're going to try and do is give the view from both Gurbani and also from uh, Gurmat uh, philosophy and again also from Pai Gurdas Diyavara and what they explain about Gurmat. So we hopefully won't go too far. Also, just a little pointer, especially on this kind of topic, a lot of our youth here, they're very good at getting a bit pumped up. So when we give you some of the stuff from Bani, the reason for this is not that you go outside, grab the nearest Dava man and pick a fight with him. Please don't do that. We're not here to cuss other religions, yeah? We're here to defend. If someone steps to us and starts throwing stones at our house, then we can block those and say, look at this. We don't want to block it in a way that this person feels, oh, I'm going to come back another time. When I block it in such a way, they never come back and bother you again. Yeah? So like a katapa basically. But not a, not a, not a avar upon them, but in defense. Yeah? And that's the way it should be, that they go and they leave you alone. That's our mission, they leave you alone. You just carry on with your sikhi. It shouldn't be that someone is not reading part, not reading Barney, but they le re re learn a little bit from here, and next thing you see they're on the streets fighting against the Muslims. That's all the Christians. No. If you're going to be a Sikh, then become a Sikh, but then learn to how to defend yourself. You know, arm yourself with knowledge is what we call it. So. Yeah, yeah just to clarify what Barney means by fighting with different faiths, it's, it's, it's all about argument and verbal debates, yeah? Just to clarify that, because their motto at the moment is arm yourself with knowledge. Knowledge is power. Having the correct knowledge, helping each other, this, sharing that. There's a good Nandev's message, sharing that. Look, I don't want to talk too much, right? Because a lot of people always yeah. say to me, come to Wali Dadaranda. So what we'll do is, we'll go straight to the question, and the questions are coming in thick Dodgy, and fast, yeah? Much, so uh, what we'll do, <laughs> Baji, we're going to start off. Like I said, Sasanga you guys, if you're watching right now, please tell others, this is such an important show. We're going to be talking about questions that other faiths are Sikhs. Uh, if you've ever come across a question, one of your family members or friends, text in right now. Uh, we'll pass it to Baji Grad Singh to answer. Also, at the bottom of your screen right now, there's a link. For what the CQ show are trying to do is raise thirteen thousand pound, which will pay for uh, Pajarak for six months. Is six that correct? Months. For six months. And all the equipment. For, and all the equipment. So thirteen thousand pound will give us a full time Pajarak for six months. Thirteen thousand pound. That's all it is. Come on, guys. We can do this. All we need you to do is go onto that link on the bottom of the page. Please donate as much as you can. Daddy, daddy, uh, that's, that's our request for myself. But look, we we'll go straight into the first question. And the first question uh, that we've got here, Paji, is. Uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji went to Mecca. Was Guru Nanak Dev Ji Muslim? Okay, Ji. So this question is asked by a lot of people, and a lot of Muslim youth believe, truly believe this, that Guru Nanak Dev Ji was a Muslim. Now, in a way, the way to a lot of people say this is they say no, he wasn't. But what they don't do is you use the Islamic knowledge to explain why he wasn't. You see, for someone to be a Muslim, they have to first um, believe in the Prophet Muhammad as the last Prophet. Yeah. Also, 
there's one more thing that they must say that only God is worthy of worship. Okay? And they must live their life as per the teachings of Islam. So this is this is what most Muslims would agree is Islam. So there's a four part video on our channel or four videos that's four part series on our channel called Was Guru Nanak Muslim. You just Google that and you can watch that. But effectively what you have to say to a Muslim is look, you tell me what is a Muslim first. They're going to say Muslim is somebody who believes in one God, follows Prophet Muhammad as the last uh, Prophet, believes in the Quran and the teachings of the Quran and lives their life that way. And then you say, well then in which case Gunadaji was not a Muslim because he did none of those things. Yeah? He believes in the one God but then he says that Wahiguru is imminent and that inside the Guru, God is Pargat. Yeah? Mara says, Aap Narayan Kalatar Jagvich Parvaryo. So a Sikh can worship their Guru. A Sikh is saying, Guru ka darshan dekh dekh jiva, Guru ke charan tohi tohi biva. A Sikh is saying to Maharaj, you are the light. Pal mathra kach ped nahi, Guru Arjan pratak har. That for a Muslim is not allowed. You can't associate partners with God, but we say Guru ji and God are partners. Guru Nanak, Nanak har soi. Guru meri puja, Guru Gobind. Guru is my worship. The Guru is person that I worship. Maharaj is saying very So therefore, on the first case, we don't, we don't believe. Secondly, does Guru Nanak Ji live the life of a Muslim? No, he does not. He goes to Mecca, but when he goes there, Maharaj does not com- complete the Hajj. The Hajj is not just going to Mecca, the Hajj involves going to Medina. There's various other things that are involved in part of the Hajj. Maharaj does not do those things. They, do, they only go to Mecca itself. Yeah? So they didn't do the Hajj, they just went to Mecca. Also, Maharaj does not live their life as a Muslim. Yeah? You never see them reading the Panj Namaz. Yeah? Japji Sahib in the morning, Dara Sahib in the evening, Keetan Soila at night. That is not what a Muslim would do. Yeah? Maharaj does not go out there, they have debates, they say Patala, Pata, Lak Agasa Agas in Baghdad. They don't agree with the seven heavens, seven hells. Many, many times Maharaj does not agree with the Quranic belief. A Muslim cannot go out there and start saying, I am the Guru, come to me, my Sharan, drink the water, blessed by my feet. That's what Guru Sahib is saying. Yeah? Become a Sikh and then follow Rijabji Sahib in the morning, Rijara Sahib at night, Kita Sahib. No Muslim man would do this. That Muslim man would be killed by the Muslims. If a Muslim did this today, they would kill him. So the fact is that as per Islam, as per Islam, Guru Ji Maharaj is definitely not a Muslim because it means there's no such meaning of the word Muslim. There's no such meaning. If Maharaj was a Muslim, then the word Muslim means nothing. Yeah? And the last thing I think which was, does Maharaj accept Prophet Muhammad as the last Prophet? Of course not. They're saying, Jaisi mein aave kasam ki bani. Jaisi mein aave kasam ki bani. Tarasa kari gyanwala. Guru Nanak Dev Ji is saying that as God is making him speak, they are speaking. So therefore Maharaj is saying he is doing prophethood. Maharaj is saying, I am speaking the words of God. Come on, how can a Muslim today, if you just imagine a Muslim today standing up and saying, I am speaking to God directly, what will happen to that Muslim? Yeah? So, that's, as per Islam, he's not a Muslim. Otherwise, the word Muslim means nothing. That would be the answer. Anji. Uh, I've got so many questions on my phone, that's actually jammed now, I apologise. Uh, I'm going to try to read as You've much got as... quite a few already, in so. I've got quite a few coming through. Uh, Sars Energy, guys, please, look, you've seen the show, this is the whole show today. For the next 45 minutes, we're going to be answering questions, right, that other people from other faiths ask us. So it's important that we know what sort of questions are being asked. Also, we know the correct answers to give when, when people ask them. So my bainti again, I'm going to keep saying this, guys, please. We need to raise thirteen thousand pounds for for a full time pracharik, right? For the next six months, that's what's gonna cost thirteen grand for to get one full time sikhi pracharik that will be there to answer any of these questions. Also, doing prachar in the on the streets at the gurukars in your schools, in your colleges, in your universities. Look at that! Look, look what we're getting for thirteen thousand pounds plus the equipment. So, Sasangaji, please donate. Okay, next question, Paji, I've got here is. How do we know uh, Sikhi was made by God? Okay, most people, are, um, most people that watch our videos have now realized that we keep talking about the fact that Maharaj is, Maharaj is saying very clearly, Agya paya kaal ki tabe chalayo pant, yeah? So for us, Sikhi is made by God, very clearly. Even Pai Gurdashi is telling us that Suni pukar datar prabhu Guru Nanak jagmahi pataya That Guru Nanak Dev Ji was sent upon the earth because the people of the earth were crying out for him. Now, but if you tell this answer to a Muslim person or a Christian, they're not going to buy that because it's our sources telling them and their sources tell them otherwise. So how do we answer this for somebody who's not of our faith? Yeah, We say it this way. All right. 
if God was going to make a religion, what would the aim of that religion be? What would be the content of that religion? And what then would be the tools that God would send in order for the people to complete that aim? So God is obviously, they're going to create a religion. They're going to give these things. Here's the aim of life. This is the knowledge you need to know to come. And then also, how are you going to go about it? Now, let's take Sikhi in that context. Yeah. Firstly, what's our aim? Very first aim is, Govind Malaniki Ehe Teri Bariya. You're here to merge with God. Now we know we've come from God. No religion denies that the one made everything. So that we're going to go back to the one. So therefore, the biggest aim must be to go back to God. So now if God is going to make the religion, they're going to make the religion with the aim to go back to God. And Sikhi is a religion with that aim. Other religions don't believe in merging with God. Yeah, They'll say, look, our aim is to worship God. But it doesn't mean they're going to merge with God. But our religion's actual aim is that to merge with God. So that's the aim ticked. Yeah. Secondly, the, the content. The content of Sikhi is so deep, it explains exactly how the path is. Japji Sai, the Panj Khans, it tells you step by step, the step to becoming, uh, merging with God. So the knowledge is definitely there. Like, you know, we talk about, I'll go through it quickly, but from the 32nd body Japji Sahib up to the end, Maharaj is giving exactly that path. That the very first thing somebody would do is to start doing Simran, worshipping God's name. Yeah? yeah. So the char should be, the desire should be to do Naam Japana. And as that person starts to walk towards God and say God's name. Next thing is to accept humility. That we don't, we don't have any power, God must do Kirpa. Yeah? I have no jor, just hata jor kar vekhe, so inanak uttam nishna koi. The third thing is to become a dharmi person, dharam khan. To start to walk upon the path of righteousness, live good actions, uh, good thinking and good words. Yeah, that all sounds very perfect. Religion would be like that, right? To become a more. Then the next step, Maharaj says, is a gyan to get the enlightenment inside, to experience the ananda of Waheguru, to experience all those things. That again is the th- is the fourth path. Yeah, gyan khand. Then Maharaj goes to saram khand, the person who starts to get a bit of fear, understands that they are going to be judged, and what they need to do is sort their thinking out. So tithe kadiye surta mat man budh tithe kadiye sura siddha ki. So the Maharaj is telling us that the person that gets to this level of Saram Khan then starts to become inside, they become fixed up. They start to think properly. They become a saintly person. That's Saram Khan. And Karam Khan, Maharaj explained this person gets blessed with so much kirpa, they have the power of God. Yeah? Explaining it step by step, Maharaj said, this person can do a bachin. This is a Mahapurak now. When they start to say something, Karam Khan ki bani jor. The words they have has power. The Maharaj says, even further than that, to get to Sacha Khan. Okay, there the Shabbat becomes Pargat inside them. Then, inside them, the Word of God is alive. They are Aap Narayan. In fact, Maharaj says, Brahm Gyani. Brahm Gyani ka Bojan Gyan. And then Maharaj says later on, Brahm, um, oh, always, you know, I'm a bit tired today, so my tuks are going out my head. Um, but Maharaj says, uh, Brahm Gyani Aap Parameshwar. Yeah? That God becomes alive in that person because the power of God is that full Gyan, such. And this person becomes such a happy, such. So they speak the truth. So, Maharaj has laid out the path. The knowledge is there. It's very deep. It's obviously from God. Because why would somebody who's not from God give such deep knowledge on how to get back to God? And then the final thing is, the Bani is so pure. The Bani actually gives us the tools to get there. Guru Sahib has given us all the tools. Um, and that kind of links to the next question that we had written down. Is how do we know that Bani is authentic? How do we know that Bani is from God? And this is again part of that. Because the tools are given by God. The tools... Um, the tools are given exactly by Guru, which is Shabad. We are meant to sing Bani to get to God. For a Sikh, nearly all of their part, nearly all of their prayers have been written down for us already. Guru has provided us with the tools and the rag. All we got to do is merge with Guru this way. And to understand um, why Bani is from God, we only need to know one word. We don't need to know ten words in rhetorical devices, etc. One word with one meaning. Should. That one word is unparalleled in any other faith. There's no other scripture with this one word, should. Should means pure. What that is, is two lines on this side, two lines on this side, and just the word should. comes by itself. A lot of people see it at the end of Asa Diwar. They're like, oh, what's that? Should, by itself. What it is actually, is that Guru Nanak Amardas, Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj, is reading out the Bani. By Gurdas, she's writing it down. Then, at the end of that process, Pai Gurdas, she's directly there and then being ascribed. Maharaj then goes over and checks Pai Gurdas these writings. 
they actually check it, make sure the onkar sehari bihari are all perfect, then they go, should. It's been checked by the Guru. There's no other scripture that was ever checked by the Prophet to say this is perfect. There is nothing. Even, for example, um, the Quran yeah, is not checked by Prophet Muhammad. The Bible was not checked by Jesus. Yeah? The Torah was not checked by their Prophets. Much, much after they came. We have the only scripture that was checked and the tick mark is there. Should. It doesn't just come once, it comes many times. Okay? The Mara checked Bani themselves. Editing Asad Sangaji is the hardest job. Sanupush, what we do editing of videos. Yeah? If I gave my video to somebody to edit and I said, please transcribe my video, they're listening to it, they're writing down what I've written. So I suddenly, they will still make mistakes. Somebody who's checking a video where they're hearing the audio, they can pause it, Cam. even then they will make mistakes. Yeah? And they're English graduates. Want to see the so? How many mistakes are possible in something which is written 500 years after or 60 years after and the person who said it isn't there to check it? Many, many mistakes can come in. Our scripture is more authentic than any other scripture in the world. In, in our opinion, obviously, because we are sick, yeah? There's nothing wrong with sick saying, look, this is what we believe, yeah? It's not hate crime, it's the truth, right? Actually, our scripture is very authentic. So therefore, Maharaj has given us the tools, they've checked it, and the tools do work. Because all the Brahmgyanis prove that Sikhi works, yeah? There's no point in saying here that Sikhs are there, but there's no Brahmgyanis. Of course, they're Brahmgyanis. Brahm, Brahm, Baba Nan Singh, you know, Baba Hanam Singh. These, these people that were one, yeah? Uh, by Dandir Singh. These people became one with the Kalpuruk, yeah? And Sikhi works for that reason. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I've got loads of questions coming. Sarsanji, thank you so much for your support. Uh, I'm trying to keep up, but I'm, I'm not even lying. The Gudra right here, right now, and the phone's actually jamming. That's how many texts we're getting through. It's actually starting to jam because we, we've got so many texts. So many questions. I've got about. 20 written so far, I'll try to keep up as much as possible. Like I said, the show is basically with yourselves today. You ask a question or some, on, 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 Sikh, on the Sikh faith, someone that another, from another religion might have asked you, uh, if you want to know the answer to it, we've got Bhai Jagrad Singh from Basic Sikhi here with us today to answer those questions. Also, like I said, Bainti, the, there's a donation link at the bottom of the page. Whoever can help out, we're trying to raise £13,000 for Basic Sikhi to have a full-time English Bacharik, bilingual actually, he'll, he'll speak Punjabi and English, Bilingual Bacharik for six months. That's all, 13 months. Uh, sorry, 13,000 pounds for six months. Well, that's what we get a Bacharik. So, BNT, everyone, please donate as much as you can. The link is on, 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 on the screen right now. Uh, next question, Baji, I've got here is uh, I'm writing it down exactly what it says on the text is so no one, so I can't make the questions up. Why are Sikhs not allowed to marry outside Sikhi? I thought Sikhi was about equality. That's a good one, actually. Okay. So, Sangaji, um, this question is often used by people because they're interested in marrying somebody who's sick and they say, look, you believe all religions are equal. Yeah? Well, firstly, we don't believe that all religions are equal. We believe that all people are equal. It wouldn't make any sense for us to say all religions are equal and then for us to say, yeah? We believe all human beings are equal, but the truth is the truth. And some religions have more aspects of the truth and some religions have less. Yeah? The truth is that there is one that made all of us. The truth is that he's inside us and that we can connect to this one through Naam. And if we call upon the Naam, we will have the one and we live a decent life of good actions, we will get blessed. But then if a religion doesn't promote Naam Jab, if a religion does not promote Nirmal Karam, then it's not as good as other religions. So there is not complete equality of all religions, there's complete equality of human beings. Now equality does not mean that someone has to ruin Sikhi. What is Sikhi? It's a path of enlightenment. So obviously on a path of enlightenment, what you need are tools to walk that path. For example, a Guru Sikh is given the Panch Kakar. These Panch Kakar are not some burden for us to carry on our shoulders. These Panch Kakars are the tools to help us complete this mission. Yeah? The Kirpan reminds us that Vahigurus by our side at all times. That we should be fighting against injustice. The Kara reminds us that we shouldn't be stealing. Yeah? The Kara is a great defensive weapon if we ever get attacked straight. We are tiyar bar tiyar. Maharaj has given us the case so we stand out all the time. That no one can deny their faith. All these things are there to support the person to walk upon this path. And the same way marriage is supposed to be the same kind of thing. A marriage is supposed to support you to walk upon this path. Yeah? And for your kids to come into Sikhi because obviously we value Sikhi. Why wouldn't we want to give it to our kids? Maharaj is saying that Guru ka Shabad Ratan hai. If we think Guru's Shabbat is like a jewel, wouldn't we want to share it with our kids? 
When we send our kids to school to go and learn maths and physics, chemistry, why? We're giving them gyan so they can succeed in life. Why wouldn't we give them the gyan of Guru? Yeah? Mara says, Guru bin kor andar, Guru bin samajna aave. If we love our Guru, we want to give our kids the best gyan. So therefore, if you have an interfaith relationship, if you're already in an interfaith relationship, and then you come into Sikhi, that's, well, we have to accept that because that person's already married. But if you're into Sikhi, Mara is going to give the gyan and the advice to the Sikh that marry somebody who's into Sikhi, that your jivan can be stronger together. You can go to Gurdwara together without having any pange. You can raise your kids to be Sikhs without having any pange. Mara is giving us advice. Now, everybody out there falls short on Guru Sahib's advice. Every single person, everybody falls short. That doesn't mean that we have to stop trying. Guru Maharaj is giving us the perfect way. Every Sikh has to walk their own path upon that perfection. Somebody will fall short here, somebody will fall short there. But that doesn't mean that the perfection and the ideal shouldn't be there. So for us as a Sikh, the Guru's hukam is that especially a Sikh person, especially a Sikh bibi, a Sikh father should try to marry his daughter off to a Sikh, not just any Sikh family, but a good Sikh family. Now why would Maharaj make this hukam especially for the women? Some people say, oh, it's inequality, it's unfair. No, no, no. It's the opposite. Maharaj says that the bibi is mokhdwar. By Gurdash is telling us the value of women. Now obviously, if we're going to educate our women, because we treat them totally equally, if we're going to educate them into Sikhi, we're going to want them to be in a relationship where they can teach us Sikhi to their children without having anybody saying, it's not allowed. Somebody of another might say, I don't want them to have this much teaching about their religion. I want them to have both teachings. That's going to confuse the kid a lot. So Guru Maharaj is telling us that especially a Bibi should marry a Sikh because that Sikh firstly is going to be trained in Sikhi. They're going to treat the woman equally. So the girl gets treated well because she's married to a Sikh. Equality is going to be there. Secondly, she can teach Sikhi to her children without having anybody trouble her. So Maharaj is giving the Padvi to the woman to make sure that she, at the very least, can carry on the Sikhi line. Because women are very important to our Pant. Yeah? So that's the answer. It's not, it's not about equality. We're not saying you can't come into Gurdwara. We're not saying you can't have Langar. Yeah? It's like everything. But we're not, saying, we're not going to ruin our religion. Because it is a community that has to grow. And how are we going to get a Chanwe Karur Khalsa? If we haven't got Sikhs working together to create this strong community, it makes sense that we have to create a strong community. Because yeah? Maharaj is saying, Babaniya, Kahaniya, Putta Saputta Karen. It's hard to spread Sikhi without teaching it to your kids first. Thank you, Badi. Uh, loads of questions coming through. Sa Sunday, thank you so much for your support. Please donate in. We're at, at the moment, we're on £1,125. Uh, uh, literally 25 minutes we've done that. So, Mardi Kirpada, the Bobo Tanwar, to every single person that's donated, thank you so much. Uh, if, you, if you can donate, please go online. Our aim is uh, reaching £13,000. Come on, guys, we can do this. We've got another half an hour of show left, and I've got good 20 questions on my page. Uh, we will try to get through as much of the questions as possible. Uh, I've even got writer's cramp now, so I'm going to read the text straight out from exactly what it says here. Okay, next question, Baji. Uh, someone's asked this, Benji, because uh, talking, it's a, it's a long, long text, right? But basically the gist of it is, in Gurbani, your guru writes that they, that they are a sinner. How can your guru be perfect? There's a, this is a very common question. Maharaj is saying, Ham papi nirgun. Maharaj is saying again and again, Ham avgun pare ek gun nahi. And yet at the same time, we say, Gur mera pura. Yeah? Satguru mera pura. So, we have to understand that Guru Sahib is perfect. First, there's no doubt about this, Guru Sahib is perfect. But who is Gurbani for? Maharaj says, Aavo Sikh Satguru ke piyari ho, gaavo sachi bani. Bani is for Sikhs to sing. Yeah? So, Sikhs, if they started singing, I'm perfect, I'm not a sinner. Well, that's going to be a panga, isn't it? Maharaj doesn't want the Sikhs to say, I'm perfect, I'm panga. Maharaj wants the Sikhs to say, Ham avgun pare ek gun nahi. And then the Sikhs to say, Sat Guru Mera Pura. Yeah? So that's why Bani is made for us to sing. So that's the, it's silly to say, Guru Sahib has written this Bani where he refers to himself because he is made for us to sing. At the same time, Guru Sahib is still perfect. When the parts and when the Sikhs and Guru Rajan Dev Ji put this Bani into Guru Granth Sahib Ji themselves, they knew that they're putting this in and it says very clearly, Guru is perfect. So there is this video already on our channel about this. It's a response to Christian missionaries because especially the Christians use this one against us because they, believe, they say that Christ is perfect but well, your Guru says he's a sinner. But that doesn't make any sense in the context of what we just talked about because Maharaj is perfect. Well, Guru Sahib wouldn't put the Bani into Ard Granth that said he's perfect if he thought he wasn't perfect. Maharaj is not a hypocrite. 
Yeah? Barney is saying he's perfect. Why did they put it in? Because they were perfect, and yet this Barney is made for us to say that. Hum avagunapari. But, ik uttam pan sunyo, Guru Sangat. Guru Sahib is perfect. Thank you, Baji. Uh, next question. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just go through the questions. We've got quite a few here now, I think. Uh, in your Guru Granth Sahib Ji, it tells you to respect animals, uh, but then why did your Guruji's hunt? Okay. That's a very serious question. Uh, I want to so- uh, thank the Sahib Sangat for giving us some hard questions. It pu- puts me under pressure as well. We learn sometimes. Well, the thing is that Maharaj is giving us a, uh, a dharam, which is a dharam of fighting for the right thing. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, Ki dasam pagat, uh, dasam katha pagat ki pakha kari banai, avar, na, avar basna nahi prab, taram yud ke chai. So a Sikh is made to do taram yud, fighting for righteousness. So we have to be righteous first, a sant first, and then become a sapahi. Now, the problem is that a lot of sons become very nimble. Very hard for them to take a life from anybody. So Maharaj is telling the Sikhs, no, times have changed. I need to make you a bit more warrior-like. And the best way to do that is to get you to experience it with animals. Yeah? To be able to hunt an animal down and to take its life. Yeah? And that's what the Maharaj would go hunting. And by Gurdashi is telling us that Guru Hargobind Sahib used to go hunting. Now, the question here is always about Bab. The question is less about compassion because you can be compassionate and kill something in the right way Like for example if you came across an animal that was hurting doctors would then say look let's put an end to his life Anybody who's had a pet by the way would have had probably faced that at some point in their life That should we put this animal down or not and they'd act out of compassion because you don't want to keep it suffering yeah? So compassion doesn't mean ending the life compassion just means doing it in a certain way First first thing so taking a life doesn't mean you're uncompassionate Secondly when Guru Maharaj is out there teaching the Sikhs what is the aim of that? Because Maharaj wants to save the whole world. Their compassion for dunya is so big that they want the Sikhs to go out there and do the Raj and bring ataram, unrighteousness to an end. So this is their compassion for the whole world that the Sikhs actually step outside of their own nirmal uh, avastha and go and learn how to fight so they can save the world. We're not doing it for ourselves, up to us we just sit and do part all day long. But because of the fact they want to help the world, then we have to learn to be a Yoda, a warrior. And this was part of that tradition, to learn how to be a warrior, to be able to hunt. Because ultimately, what did they do then, Maharaj? They went hunting against animals, and then did they use that just to go hunting the whole time? Of course not, they used it to fight against Ertaram. And all of our examples, Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji had four battles. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj has so many battles. Okay. All of it was about fighting against tyranny. The Sikhs could not have done that, had they just got up one day, picked up a kirpan and gone. They had to have learned the skill of riding horses, of shooting arrows, or something that was a moving target. I was in the army for four years. They took us training all the time. Yeah? Why did they take us training all the time? And you can't, you know, they gave us blank bullets and then took us live rounds as well. Why did they take us to do that? Because you have to learn how to do it properly. In those days, obviously, uh, blank, blank bullets didn't exist. You had to fire arrows at something. And what are you going to do? Put somebody there with what? So he gets shot with the six. No, Maharaj is telling us to teach. Those animals did not suffer, by the way. Yeah? They were killed. The Sings are very good at shooting arrows. And secondly, the Kirpa was on those animals, wasn't it? Because who was learning to hunt them? The Khalsa of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. The animal didn't, didn't have to worry about its mukti. Maharaj is going to bless that animal. Yeah? When the Khalsa blesses that animal, then that will get mukti as well. We don't have to worry about that animal because ultimately the Guru Sahib sanctioned that. Thank you, Paji. Just let you know that we've actually raised £2,169. Thank you so much. We've still got 25 minutes of the show left. We're trying to reach £13,000. Sa Singh Ji, you've seen it yourself. Baji Gharad Singh Ji, for the past two years, has been doing this full time. He's an Oxford graduate. He could have easily gone into a job, well paid job, but instead, he's doing exactly what his guru is asking him to do spread the word. Uh, spread the word of righteousness. So this is exactly, exactly what Baji is doing. We can support him. All of us can support him. We're asking for £13,000 to pay for one full-time Pacharik for six months that will be bilingual, English and Punjabi. He or she will be able to go to schools, uh, colleges, Gurdwara Sabs, uh, all these sort of things. So this is awesome. £13,000, that's all it is. All of us, just put your daswan. This is, this is where your money is going to go towards Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message. Spreading the word of Guru Nanak. That's where your money will be going towards. The link is on the bottom of the screen. I've got loads of texts. Uh, let's go to the next question, body. Okay. Someone's approached me and said to me that the Sikh faith is not a religion, it's actually a culture. Could you please expand? Okay. Um, Mara says, Guru Gobind Singh Mara says, e tisar mazhab khalsa upjo The word mazhab means religion. Okay? So Sikhi is many things. 
It's a religion because it's clearly defined. We have our scriptures, we have our beliefs, we have our daily part. It's clearly defined. Many of the religions are core religions, but they're not religions. In that sense, they're not religions because they're not clearly defined. It's hard to work out what it is. You have to define what kind of person you are. But Sikhi is quite well easily defined because you've got Japji Sahib, Dara Sahib, Kitan Soila, Maharaj giving us the Bani, and it's very clear Guru Gan Sahib Ji is our Guru. Now, uh, when it comes to um, culture, we're not, we, we have a culture that comes out of the Taram. Guru Sahib's created a culture. Yeah? It was a culture of, it was a warrior culture and a Sant culture, Sant Sipahi. Yeah? This culture was made by the Gurus over 200 years. So there was a question earlier about why was there, why was there 10, why, was there, why, why, why not only one Guru, why 10 Gurus? Then this kind of relates to this. You know, to change people, because you imagine when Guru Maharaj came on the earth, what was it like? There were people that were downtrodden, there were people that were caste ridden, there were people that were told that you are not allowed to do anything. To see Kush like ni hagyo. You are untouchables. At that time, Maharaj came into this world and said to women that you are equal. They said to Shudra, you sit in the langar with all of us equally. You see, the thing is, is, when Maharaj came at that time, the world still wasn't used to it. If only one Guru Sahib had come, then what would have happened? The Sikhs might have turned it around, might have gone away from the high teaching. But over 200 years, Sasangaji, Maharaj changed the history of India. If you look at India from 1100 to 1300, nothing much changed. From 1300 to 1500, nothing much changed. But from 1500 to 1700, India was totally changed. Why? Because the Gurus had come. Das Jamme, one by one, unbroken line, always the same, always the same message, always consistent, and the Sikhs were being woken up to change. And by the time you got to 200 years later, the Khalsa was now ready to change India's history. And the Mughal Raj was pushed away. So to change the people, it takes 200 years. Yeah? What's happened to us now? Anna? We've gone back. We've gone backwards. So we need to get back to the teachings and you see the history. And by seeing Maharaj's lessons in the first Jama, the second Jama, the third Jama, we can then take so much guidance. If Guru Tegh Bahadur could do something that was so amazing, the whole world has never seen, it's just one of our Gurus. We got 10. So Maharaj has given us so beyant kirpai ye se hote, to have 10 Gurus with such amazing teachings. So we are, we are a culture made up of our Guru's teachings. We are a religion and we're also a way of enlightenment and we're a path of the saints. It's hard to describe Sikhi. That's why when we made our video, What is Sikhism? We put down eight different perspectives rather than just one perspective. Because Sikhi is beyond the Ustadni Kasade. Tere kavan kavan gun ke hake gama. How can we do enough praise of our Guru? So it's all of those things and above. Uh, quick announcement to the management team of Sikh channel. Uh, I'm getting quite a few texts asking if the show can be extended, not me, the, the te there's a text saying. So if, if you can, tunnel that deal and we'll, we'll do it, otherwise we'll finish that 10. Uh, Sarsangliji, we've raised, uh, like I said, uh, over £2,200. Bainti, if you can donate, please go on to the, uh, the link on the bottom of the page. Uh, sing, let's move on to the, some of the questions that keep repeating themselves. And I'll just quickly let you know what they're about. The cast. Uh, see, let's, I'll tell you what, just touch on the cast before I go to the next restaurant. Okay. Cast, because do Sikhs believe in cast? Do Sikhs believe in caste? Well, no. <laughs> but I've got to make, get, give you... People ask this question for one reason. What they, they say is, look at your actions. They say you judge a tree by its fruit. So, to see kende hai gyo, the tadek which caste, jat, paat nahi hai But look at how you act. Now, Sa Sangaji, this is a slap in our face. It's not a slap in our Guru's face, because Guru mein na hai. It's not a slap in our history, but it's a slap in our face, because nowadays, in our pant, Cast has come back. Now it may not be in the Langar Hall, most places in the UK. In India, in some places it is. But the fact is, our our lowly actions that are away from Guru, what you might call that manmat, our manmat has brought our Guru into dispute. You know? People have got the akkar to point a finger at our Guru because we have stepped away from his teachings. We can't blame our Guru. Only thing we can do, and when I say we, I mean the younger generation, because sometimes the older generation are kind of beyond uh, repair. But what we can do is to change our thinking. And it's, I don't mean by that that they're beyond. I mean that it's very hard to change them. Yeah? Maybe you will get but you will have to work a lot. But upon the youth, no, any man, no, any, they quite understand equality because they live in a world which is very multicultural. And they already understand that caste is not really relevant. Who's a judge nowadays anyway? I haven't seen many Sikhs in this country doing farming. To see America, when I was in America, Yuba City, and that, there's plenty of farmers. Now you can say that's a real judge. <laughs> you know? 
And you know, the thing is, is okay, there's, oh, you know, if you say Tarkhan, there's quite a lot of carpenters within Tarkhan. But actually, in Sikhi, the caste thing only really rears its head in marriage. It doesn't really rear its head in many other things. In the Gurdwara and all that kind of stuff. In Langar and in Part. Hondeko, I don't know what Cam is. He doesn't know what I am. At the end of the day, if we take out that surname from our name, just keep it to sing and call, it will, it will change. Three generations from now, it will go. And then Guru Sa will be happy. Because the Panj Pyari were of different castes. So we need to step away from bringing castes into our thinking. But for that, we need to get more people to start following Sikhi properly. You know? Fantastic. Uh, also, quickly, I'd like to add on that. Also, when Maharaj uh, in 1699 created Amrit and gave Amrit to the Pant, one thing that has to be noted is when the Hindu Hilraja came over to Maharaj and said, Look, Maharaj, yeah. we will give our whole kingdoms, we'll become Sikh, yeah, but we only have one condition. The one condition is that the Bhatta that everyone else has taken Amrit from, yeah. we want a separate one. So we don't want to share the same Bhatta as so called low caste. Maharaj told him that at that point, okay, that's not possible because of, because of these low, so called low caste, I've been given this Barshai, I've been given this uh, uh, title. Yeah. So this is their Kirpa. And, and therefore. Mara says, in hi ki kirpa ke sajay hum hai Mose gareeb Nahi mose gareeb karoor pare So they say that because of these poor Sikhs and these people of all different castes They've been given this part shahi So never never let it be that we cast a finger upon our Guru Never say our Gurus did this Sadej e himmat ni We should not be sitting there pointing fingers at our Guru Trying to justify our bad actions Because some people do this as well And they both marikal hai ki saa sangha ji Because you're the nindya of your Guru You're saying that my Guru is like me He's castes, I can be castes just say, I got problems, I can deal with them, but don't point a finger at our Guru. Fantastic. Fantastic body. Okay, next question. <laughs> uh, let's go to this one quickly. Is Sikhi a sect of Hinduism? Well, actually, a lot of people say, this question is normally asked by people that are trying to say that, oh, you're nothing special. If we're nothing special, why are you bothering us? Belly gun. Huh? Because everybody's trying to claim us, isn't it? you got people who are saying, you lot are Sikhs, you lot are Hindus, somebody else saying, you lot are Muslims. If we're nothing special, why do you keep coming after us? Huh? Why, what people try to use by this is, they try to say, oh, chalo, tu sina sade wapas aajo. Yeah? Actually, we are something special. Because <laughs> yeah? Maharaj has made this amazing religion for us. Secondly, we're not a sect of anything. We talked about this, that Maharaj is saying clearly that they are getting this bind direct from God. How can you be a sect of something and then go against it? Yeah? You must accept certain principles of it. Maharaj is saying, Bani is coming from God. So for us, truth is truth, and Sikhi is pure odd, such you guys, such happy, such Nanak Hosipi, such. Now the truth is being known by many people before Guruji as well. Not the full truth, but many aspects of the truth. Yeah? Like for example, Sheikh Fariji is before Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj. And they understood the path to God. Yeah? So therefore, much of the truth existed before, and many people in different faiths have got elements of the truth. So that's why we don't criticize other religions. Mara says, don't do nindya of other tarams. However, for a Sikh, we must understand that our religion is the complete truth. Not, not the complete exclusive truth, but the complete inclusive truth. Yeah? To understand that concept is very hard. So therefore, we're not a sect of anything. Actually, with this question of Hinduism, the truth is, it's very hard to define Hinduism. What is Hinduism? You know? However, it's easy to define Sikhi. Because Maharaj has made it clear. We have one grant, we have other grants, but we have the Guru, Guru Granth Sahaji Maharaj. So therefore, we're not a sect of anything. The only way to ask that question, answer that question really with the Katapa really is to say, okay, define what Hinduism is. They won't be able to. Say, how can we be a sect of something you can't define? Define Islam to me. They define Islam, then how, we don't, we're not part of that. Look at our core beliefs, look at the. So basically, throw the question back. Say, before you accuse me of being a sect of something, define what it is. And then let's look at Sikhi in the light of that. And Uthay Dusi Jajjauge, because it doesn't match any of those descriptions. Tikana? Yeah. yeah. Just to clarify, Sarsangaji, we are raising £13,000 for one full time Pachara for six months with basic Sikhi. At the moment, we raised £2,500 on the donation page. Come on, guys, we can do this. £13,000. If all of us just pull out £10, whatever we can afford, that this one, that money will be going towards Guru Nanak Dev's message, sh uh, spreading the word of truth across the world. Because these guys, uh, if you go onto their YouTube channel, they've got uh, the YouTube channel not just in English but in different languages, in French, German, Spanish, I think they're getting into also. So there's 
different languages, Sikhi Prachar is happening. Your money will be going towards Sikhi Prachar. Okay, so next question. Uh, Sikh, Sikh, uh, Sikh, Sikh faith is supposed to be peaceful, so why do you guys carry swords? Or Qurban in this case? Okay, this question really, people ask that, but what they're doing is they're trying to throw you off and it cause a bit of shanka. Because there's not one religion on this planet that hasn't had to go through some kind of a war. Even the Christians, they had onward Christian soldiers. Yeah? And so therefore, the concept of Taramiyud exists in every, every religion. Yeah? Taramiyud, right, fighting for righteousness. Yeah? Now, why we carry a Kirpan is because the proof is that we needed to carry a Kirpan. We can see what's happened in our history. We tried, we tried the Shantamaya. Not we tried it. Maharaj wanted to show the world that look, we're doing the Shantamaya effort. And yet what happened? Guru Rajan Deji Maharaj was Shaheed. So therefore, when the truth is there, it's kind of like it needs to be protected. Yeah? So that everybody can enjoy it. Imagine you had a beautiful garden. You're going to put some kind of fence around that garden to stop people ruining the garden. You know? People can come in, but you're going to put some guards there. Make sure. To see Jaka Dehlo, go to any beautiful place. You'll see guards there to make sure it doesn't get ruined for everybody else. And that's what Sikhi is. The Khalsa is the guard of the Panth. The Guru Sikhi is Jagat Guru. Maharaj is here for everybody. Anybody can come and take the teachings of Sikhi. Anybody can come into Langar. Anybody can come into Darbar Sahib and listen to Bani. Anybody can access Gurbani. However, someone has to keep it calm. Someone has to keep it pure. Someone has to protect it so it doesn't get ruined for everybody else. And this is what the Khalsa is. We carry the Kirpan so we can fulfill our Guru's message. Keep Sikhi strong. Keep Sikh strong. And also protect everybody else. Policeman carries weapon. No one complains about that, do they? Otherwise, the policeman will be able to do his job. So the, we are here to bring peace to the world. In fact, Sakyam, you remember that little article came out recently, innit? Sikhs are the most law-abiding citizens in the whole country. Yeah, yeah. How could they do this unless they had this idea of being able to carry a kirpan? You don't trust the kirpan to somebody who drinks, does, smokes and always has, and does drugs. You trust it to somebody who is pure of these things. The Khalsa. Yeah? So definitely if you're carrying kirpan, don't indulge in drugs, alcohol, anything like that. Because my hukum is, you should be tiyar, bar tiyar. How can you be tiyar, bar tiyar and be tali at the same time? Ho hi sagda. Yeah, so just 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 a very quick follow-on question from that because a few people have asked uh, similar to that exactly that's uh, what the analogy is given right now with the garden. Uh, why do you have uh, weapons at your holiest shrine, uh, Sri Darbar Sahib? Just very quickly just clarify that. This is what you just did. Make sure they understand me. When we go to Gurdwara and we matha take, a lot of people, you know, they have this airy fairy idea of religion. Oh, like this, and then they come in, they matha take, and then they get a bit of a shock. I went there and there was Kirpans there. I couldn't believe it. I thought these were peace-loving people. So I said, Ji, the fact is that the best people to keep armed, the best people to carry warriors, are your most peaceful and peace-loving people. Those are the guys you want to trust the weapons. You don't want to give it to people that are aggressive and hardcore. So now here, Sikhi is one of those religions that first off says everybody is equal, every human being. Men and women are equal. Then it says that you should be full of compassion. Because the first Ban Pyare was by Daya Singh. Then Taram, righteousness and justice. So the first thing we need is Daya. Tol Taram, Daya Ka Poot. Yeah? First, second comes uh, Taram, then comes com first comes compassion. compassion. And then Maharaj is telling us after that needs some Himmat, a bit of bravery. Yeah? Then you can do something. And then Maharaj is then giving us the Kirpan to become Sahib and Mokam, to reduce our attachment and be steadfast in following this Sikhi. Yeah? So therefore, the Kirpan is only given to the Khalsa. The Kirpan is not there for any, anybody willy-nilly to turn up. You know, it, it's hard. And the Kirpan is, is reflective of God's power. Because Masar Sangaji, we don't have a devil. That was another question asked earlier. For us, there is no supreme bad guy that's in competition with God. Nahi. Yeah? We only have one, Akal Puruk. Sahib Mera Eko hai. There's no one in competition with him. So therefore, Mare Rakhe Eko Aap Man Ke Kich Na Hi Haat. Wahiguru himself protects, Wahiguru himself kills. So therefore, we don't see a competition to God. God creates, God sustains, God destroys. As uh, Pai Sukhra Sinji from Lee is always saying, G-O-D, he's the giver, the um, organizer, and the deliverer. So he reflects all three powers. Yeah? So for us, the Kirpan is that guru by your side. The Kirpan can protect you, and the Kirpan can uh, uh, take a life. So Mare Dake, Eko Aap. Kirpan, yeah? Can do both those things. It can be rude for righteousness, and it can be used for unrighteousness. So therefore, the righteous should be armed. Otherwise, the unrighteous will be only the people armed, and they will ruin the world. Because they're saying it, all it takes for evil to prosper is for good men to do nothing. Correct. Yeah? So the good men need to be armed. Maharaj has given the hukum to us. That brings us up to the next question. Uh, 
Sikhism says that God's in all, but what about rapists and all evil people? Okay, so this, this question is asked by those faiths, especially that believe that God is separate from the world. Yeah, there's people that say God is separate, and they and we say no, no. Why God is inside everybody? Sab mein hai jod, jod hai soi. This ke chanan, sab mein hai chanan hoy. So when we say that God is inside everybody, then they go, that's not right. God is separate from this world. So then they say, well, explain this to me. I understand that God is in the good people. How can God be in the bad people? So Sangha ji, jari energy hai gina. It's inside everything. No one's beyond redemption, by the way. You can't like say, oh, when he was a bad person, there was no God inside him. Later it becomes good, and suddenly God popped inside him. It's a bit silly thing to say. So the, but the, the, the latent energy is inside all of us. The joy is inside all of us. But some people are full of homme. The ego, they calm, they crow, they love, more ankar, lust, anger, pride, greed, detachment. These things cloud up that jyot. Yeah, and the jyot is not pargat. But when the person embraces the jyot, embraces sat, santok, daya, taram, kima, pyar, truth, contentment, charity, love, forgiveness, then that light becomes pargat. It becomes visible. So okay. for a Sikh, the path is of making the light visible inside them, making it accomplished and connecting to that light. So therefore, the latent possibility must exist inside everybody. So rapists are pe people that are full of calm. Yeah? Rape and then murderers are people that are maybe full of growth. They are affected by the same disease or what all of us have. Yeah? Jojo di se so so rogi. Rog rehat mera satguru jogi. Everybody mara says disease with home me. Yeah? Only thing is some people manifest it and the cure is inside Bani as well. No. Look at Sajan Thug, yeah? Thief and a murderer. He was reformed. Jot must have been inside him. All it took was Guru Sahib's Kirpa and Guru Sahib's Naam. So for us is to spread the Naam and we can reform these people. Those people that complain about this, you, they say, oh why, you know, I'll take, sorry Sasanga I'm going to give you an example now that's used by people, it's a bit rude. They say, how, if God is so pure, how can God be in, uh, um, you know, when we go to the toilet, yeah, ex excrement, how can God be inside that? If God, if God is energy, if God is particles, then every, every, everything has got energy and particles inside them, isn't it? Yeah, that what we eat it sustains us. We say thank you. When it comes out of us, we say oh, it's horrible. But when you put that into the ground and it get decomposed, it will make food for the plants and trees. The vegetables will grow it, and then the fruit will come out, and we'll eat that and say thank you, God. It's hadapanam hega. The truth is, energy is just being recycled all over the world. We are the ones that put the sin on top of it or make it dirty. Actually, in nature, it's just part of the cycle of life. You know? and that's why Sikhi explains that to us. Fantastic things. Sasanji, please, you've seen, you've seen what Bajagrad Singh is doing. Did such a fantastic job on the show today so far. Uh, if you want to help and if you want to get a full time Pacharik, all you have to do is go to the link on the bottom of the screen and donate. We're trying to raise £13,000 so you can have one full time Pacharik who will be bilingual and for, for, for the next six months. Uh, at the moment, we've raised £6,534. Tada, both, both, Tanavar, Sasanji. We've only got another. A few grand to do. Come on, 13 grand we're trying to get to. Please, everyone, put your money in. We're going to raise the money for Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message, spreading the truth. Next uh, question, saying a lot of people are texted about Lodi. Uh, I think Lodi's Tom Kalu. Uh, they're saying, you guys believe in Lodi. Uh, why do you seek to celebrate Lodi? And you, I thought you're supposed to believe in quality. I think that's what they're trying to say. Yeah, we, Very quickly because I got, got we don't actually celebrate Lodi. Punjabi celebrate Lodi. Sikhs specifically don't celebrate. It's not in it. You won't find it mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. You won't see any Sikhs doing it. What you see is Punjabis doing it. Now there's Punjabis that are Sikhs, but there's also other people that are Sikhs. I don't think many of the, many of the white Sikhs are going to be out there celebrating Lodi. Okay, na? Yeah? Are they? So that proves it to you, yeah? It's Punjabi Sikhs that did it. Now, for example, Maharaj went to Assam. And Assam, they did Prachar. Even to this day, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Kirpa, they're still Sikhs in Assam. They don't celebrate Lodi. It's, not, it's a Punjabi thing. And actually, it's to celebrate the birth of the boy and not the girl would be against Sikhi. Because Guru Nanak Maharaj themselves refused to wear the Janiyu because they asked the question, how come a woman can't wear it? Why can't Bibi Nanaki wear it? Yeah? If we love Bibi Nanaki, if we love Mata Gujri, if we love, how can we discriminate against them? So if we're going to celebrate something, Sahasanga Ji, what I would suggest is do it for the girl and the boy. Yeah? Do it double for the girl so we can change the, change the system. You know? I'm very happy I've got a daughter. If I was going to have another one, I hope I had another daughter. Yeah? Because tell you, boys are hard work. <laughs> but, but honestly, we need, to, we need to change our thinking. This is again, people are pointing fingers at our Guru because of the Sikhs for. Sadi kami hagiye, sadi guru din na hori hagiye. Very quickly, uh, 
this is from someone saying that someone's approached them and asked them that seek seek faith is incorrect because you believe in reincarnation. So just it's a long text, but okay. A lot of people don't understand reincarnation, Sasangaji. And sometimes some of the Sikhs themselves are misunderstanding this concept. Look, without reincarnation, how can you have justice? Look at the people in the world when you've got good and you've got bad people. Look at the look for example, yeah, some people are born rich, some people are born poor. Somebody who just believes in one life would say that's not fair. But if you understand the long the, the multiple life cycle, 8.4 million lives. You say it does make sense because Mara says Dada dos na diyo kise Dos karma apniya Jo mein kiya So mein paaya Dos na dije avrjana If we are rich It's because in our past life We must done something To get blessed with the ability now Not to worry about money so much And do more simran But with that comes double-edged sword You get more hankar Somebody is poor They have got to work To make enough money They can't do as much part And have as much freedom And yet That person might be more humble because they don't see themselves as full of ego and rich. So actually everything is a double-edged sword. And we've got to understand that what we've been given is because of many, many lives. Now also, if somebody's a murderer in this life, and then you say, well, that's it, one life only, that doesn't make any sense because if that person goes into hell, whatever, whatever you believe in, but actually, they have to wait until the day of judgment. Most of these faiths, for example, like Christi uh, Christianity, Islam, etc., they believe in the day of judgment. <coughs> So you've got one, one day, many, many years in the future, whenever the whole world ends, that's when people get judged. In the meantime, when they die, they all just wait around. Yeah? Some people call it, you know, limbo. This word exists out there. They're just waiting for the day of judgment. What is Sikhi saying? Sikhi is saying that as soon as you die, you go up to Taramraj. You get judged. And then you get the immediate punishment. Yeah? And then you get back into reincarnation, you get to try again. Hopefully this time you can do a better job. But you get the punishment at the same time. So Sangaji. Justice by God doesn't make any sense in the one life story. It makes much more sense in the multiple life story. And look outside in the world, the earth itself is multiple, multiple um, lives. Every tree goes through so many cycles. Yeah? It goes in the winter, it's almost dead, then it comes back. Everything in the world is always regenerating. Human beings are like that as well. It doesn't make sense to have one life. Yeah? Because ultimately it would be a bit strange to get a lot, a, a, an eternity in hell. That's what people believe. You know, a lot of religions believe in eternity in hell. Mother is saying it's not eternity, you get to come back after a punishment, you get to come back and try again. That makes more sense to me. God is compassionate. He gives us a chance to try again and do a better job. Thanks, buddy. A lot of questions, but also Sarsang, we've already got 15 minutes left, yeah? And at the moment we've raised, uh, just, just trying to refresh the screen uh, quickly. I'm also going to go to the audience. Sarsang, people that are sitting in the audience today are all those people that have experience basic Sikhi so you've come to the lectures you've come to the Qatar you've, you've seen the YouTube channels so I want, I want to come to the audience in a few moments to let us know what your input is so people watching out there right now they can see all these Nojwan sitting here saying what have you uh, benefited from basic Sikhi so this £13,000 that we're trying to raise tonight uh, for getting one Pachara for full time for six months uh, what will it achieve so if anyone that's in the audience if you could get ready if you get ready in a few moments uh, we're going to come to you, uh, but just very quickly, I want to come back to some of the questions uh, on, on here. So, Sangaji, we've got so many questions coming through, right? It's unbelievable. I'm trying to get as many done today as possible. If we don't do it today, we will come down uh, and, and, and in a few weeks' time and try to do this again, definitely. At the moment, we've raised £7,311. The page is on there. Thank you to every single person that's donated in spreading Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message. That's exactly where that money's going. Thank you so much because that will help us, will help basic Sikhi fund a Pacharik who will be bilingual and in this country to do Pachar on Sikhi. And they will be able to go to colleges, schools, universities, Godra, Qatar, and all these sort of things and that this Pacharik will be able to do and also buy resource and equipment. One was a need for a Sikh faith. If Islam was already preaching uh, monotheism. Okay, um, <clears throat> the people that talk about this, what they're trying to say is, look, you're monotheistic, we're monotheistic. Yeah. So why do we need another faith? Because Islam does believe that the Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet upon the earth, and the Quran is a final message from God. Now, it's not for us to criticize um, Islam, but obviously, as a Sikh, we don't agree with that view that Islam is a final message because our gurus are bringing the message from God. Now here's the difference that even a Muslim will agree with you here. If you say these words to a Muslim, definitely a Muslim will agree with you that Sikhi is different. And it's this, Sikhi is all about Naam. It's about merging with Wahidu. Islam does not believe in that. 
the prime example is Mansoor. Mansoor was a Sufi who said, Un al Haq, I have become one with God for the truth. And this poor Mansoor went through a very torturous death. They killed him, they said it's blasphemy. Yet yeah, our gurus are saying those words, and the Sikhs are saying those words, and Kabirji is saying those words. So actually, if a religion had to exist where the aim was to merge with God, then it couldn't be Islam, because that's against Islam. So the need for this faith was this, that Mara says that the name wasn't, the, the path of name, the path of merging with God, was not in the world. And so therefore, Gunalaji was sent to spread the Naam. Yeah? Now if they want to follow their path, that's fine. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj was Bhadrashah said, what's better, Islam or Sikhi? And Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, our Guru themselves said, Tumko tumara khub, humko hamara khub. To you, yours is beautiful. To me, mine is beautiful. That's how a philosophy should be. You say, look man, stick with your faith, that's fine. But our faith is about merging with Waheguru. And the, the way to do that is by calling Waheguru's name. Naam Japana. Yeah? It's not going to happen any other way. Naam bina ko mukta na hoi. Yeah? You can't get mukti without naam. So therefore, the way is different, so therefore the religion has to be different. And it makes sense. Yeah. You couldn't do it with, within Islam, they'll kill you for it. Mansoor found out. So you have to do it outside Islam. Yeah. See, this one really important question, a couple of people just text in, this just, just right come through right now. Uh, I'm thinking of leaving the Sikh faith for another faith. What principle or Sikhi uh, should stop me from doing so? So this that's a pretty hardcore question. Oh, so that is pretty deep. So Baji, I'll put you on the spot there. I apologise. I'll come back to the audience. Very brief, guys, because we've literally got six minutes. We've raised uh, £9,488 so far. Thank you so oh, much oh, to oh, every oh, single oh. person that donated. Seriously, thank you. For every single person that put there, the swan there, it's many Guru Nandi's message. Uh, saying, why should people not convert, or what, what should stop people convert to its face? Okay. Well, you know how like many people like Langar, they got such a beautiful concept. And many people say, oh, it's such nice that what Guru Teg Bharaji did in Delhi. There's very few people I've met in the world that will say, oh, that wasn't a good thing to do. If you look through all the Gurus one by one, all the things that they did in terms of helping people, in terms of giving Langar, Prashad, teaching the morals, and when you get to the 10 Gurus, you will see so much goodness, if you learn the history, that there must be one thing that will then pop into your head. What else is there? Because you see this history, a lot of it is not in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's written on a... Because Maharaj said, you know, these things, they'll happen automatically if you've got Naam inside you. So then if Maharaj is always talking about Naam, then show you the question, the Shankar in the sixth mind should be, Je Guru ne inni changi kaam kitti, inni changi galla kitti ya, because Maharaj Matha take to Bani. So the, the way of Naam is kind of like a lot of people don't understand it. And this first, the only thing I would really say is there, look, Maharaj is telling us that at the top of our head, there is Dasandwar. This concept does not exist within Islam. Yeah? Well, other oh, it does exist again in other faiths, but it doesn't exist in Islam. The concept of merging with Waheguru. So the first thing is, if Guru Sahib did so many nice things, surely they wouldn't just be lying about Naam. <laughs> They wouldn't have written so much Bani in Rag if they were not sure about Naam. That this thing existed, that's some Dwar. So now, and people like myself, people like many, many people out there were blessed to experience Waheguru. So what we need to do is say, just go for the experience. Go to, look, you're in Birmingham. There's going to be the 40-day job happening very soon. Yes, yeah? Sangeeji? Starting tomorrow, 13th. So therefore, that is the time to pop down to the Gurdwara. One hour. Saad Sangat isn't always at 1 o'clock on Sunday when everybody's having Langar. Sometimes it's when people are jumping Naam. This is the best time to go down to Birmingham next 40 days or any other job program, South Hall Park Avenue, 4 a.m. Come down, experience one hour of Y Guru Seminar, do it and see how amazing Sikh he is. Uh, thank you to the C uh, Channel management team that extended the show to quarter past. Uh, audience, you got literally 10 seconds each if you ever want to say something. And I'm going to pass it back to Bujagar Singh to wrap up. Uh, quickly, go on, everybody. Go for it. Quickly, quickly. Why did you give it to me? Just a quick brief message. Uh, I was on the Y group course as well. Uh, there's about 20, 30 of us. Okay. And uh, so, we basically so, obviously so, done it. And uh, from yeah, there, yeah. we've got like five, six people who have taken home it, maybe even more. Yeah, uh, myself, well, fantastic. Others, it's like very archaic. So, what he's doing is fantastic work. So, please, Sars Energy, donate, donate now. Obviously, the website should be in the bottom screen. Thank you. Thank you. Next, anyone from the audience? Very quickly, Baji, because we've got to wrap up really, really quick. I apologise. Uh, just a quick message. A few people have said that they want to donate, but they can't get to the, uh, they have an internet access. Uh, Punjabi Hut from uh, Carventry have uh, donated £200 uh, from there, this one, to, to, to the project also. Uh, so that's fantastic. Hanji Baji. 
Wild 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 um, I was also on the Wild course, we actually on the pilot, which is one done by Shepherd's Bush. Um, the whole the key part of what Jagaraja Singh is saying, especially the whole basic Sikhi um, charity, is it is the basics, it is the foundations. It's about making our roots stronger. Um, a lot of people, they say, you know, uh, how, do I, how can I believe Mani touching on what they said earlier? We need to look at our Guru's history and you need to learn it yourself to know what they actually did and what they achieved. So, um, you know, basically just get stuck in, just start looking at the videos and be the change you want to see. There's no point complaining about everybody else. Be that change yourself. Fantastic. That's what I'd like to say. Thank you, Bajaji. Bajaji. I'll take two more. That's it, maximum. We've got, we've got to go back, come back to the um, panel. Is anyone from that party there? Quickly. Very quickly, Bajaji. Very, very quickly. Sorry about this. Bajaji. Bajaji. Uh, just a quick one I want to say is basically, I've come here alone. Um, and basically, the reason why I came here is I've been watching Jabrad Bajaji's uh, videos. And for me, it's, it's a realization I've had is basically. For me, I break, you know, I speak very broken Punjabi. Um, I've grown up in society where, you know, I've followed the wrong things and done a lot of things which have been with me in the wrong, wrong ways. Uh, but for me personally, is, you know, my dear good, but I am going on the path I am going on to. And for me, it's, it's what am I going to teach my kids? For me, it's more of a case of I have to have all myself with the knowledge to, to teach my own kids as well, because otherwise, for my own family, you know, that's fantastic body. But it's very quickly, we've raised £11,179. And we'll wrap it up in two minutes. So if you're watching right now, and if you can make that donation, and we can end the show with £13,000, how amazing would that be? All you have to do is go onto that link right now, donate £10, whoever is watching right now, and we can get to £13,000 in the next four minutes. I'll be fantastic body. I'll give you literally one minute to wrap up. So, uh, Sanjay, a lot of people have been talking about myself. This isn't really about myself. Only recently we had to go on a couple of interviews publicly to say this isn't about me. Also, by the way, Bible DC has joined us as well. Yeah. So it's, it's three of us at the moment, full time projects, full time making leaflets, making design. It's not. I would say that we could accomplish this job with more people on board because I said there's no limit. So I know we have to keep saying no to people that we can't go to do projects. Yeah. Because we haven't got that manpower. And we haven't really got the funds to start hiring people because you're going to hire someone and say, sorry mate, in six months you have to quit your job, but in six months time, I haven't got a job for you. Yeah. So in wrapping up, what I would say is, what we're trying to do, our mission is this, that there's a team of projects across the country who just go to schools, colleges, universities and teach the key. They're not worried about their rosy rojana, they're not worried about saying to their family, I can't pay them more to this month. Or, and they're not worried about going to a small gurdwara, oh because it's not that my son, I'm not going to get any money. They've got a fixed salary, and all they can do is go on, and also, plus the money that we have, goes into other things as well, like leaflets. For example, we made this book, uh, Singh just passing it over. The first step, you've seen Sikh Channel playing the little videos about the, the 10 Guru song. We're going to make a lot more things for kids this, this year. So it's, it's not just videos and street prajad. There's many, many things happening. We're going to start to make more books. Jabji Sahib, uh, Steek as well as we can on the basics, yeah? So there's many, many things that need to be done. And they're not going to have, they're not, this is the first step book, this is the Moonmantra book. We, we, we paid for this book to get published, and then now it, it's being sold and the money will go back into Prachar, you see. So it's again, it's about helping her, for example, Bajinder Gopanja made this book. She was, it was sitting on her desk, but it probably wouldn't have got delivered. And if they'd gone to a, a Gora publisher, they would have taken a massive cut. And this way we can give her a good bit, a bit of sort of uh, support for making this book. She's given a lot actually to charity. You know? Instead of having it go into somebody else's pocket, it's going to charity. So therefore, um, we need to understand that what we're trying to do is invest in the fund. This is not about us. Everything's 13 means Sabha Kitchen Data. Yeah? We're working for our Guru. All of us that are doing this could make more money, personally, separately, outside of this work. The only reason we're doing it is because there's a need for it. Hopefully, I personally hope, years to come, people better than me will come along, I can retire. <laughs> yeah? But that, they, we do believe with the basics, we need the more advanced to come along as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for that project. My, my personal thanks to every single viewer watching, every single person that texted. I'm so sorry for answering all the questions, we'll do a show again. Thanks to Seaton Life when she fixed on the show. Thanks to every single person that uh, uh, donated. Dr. Bobo Tanwag, who raised over £11,500. That's fantastic. At Target, it was £13,000. So if you haven't donated, go online now. And also, uh, respect to all religions, everyone's trying to reach and tell people to do the good thing. And that's what it's all about. 
everyone working together collectively as a world wide community to try and bring good into the world. Apart from if we said anything wrong, we apologise. We'll see you next Sunday, 8 o'clock. Why did you go Hasa? Why did you keep my day? Hey, dude.